Hello my friends, Stark here. Today is the 18th of January 2015 and I want to record a short update video about the troubled Ford F700 rollback. In my previous video about this Ford I explained that she had coolant in the oil system and that I suspected a blown head gasket. Well, since I recorded that video, I've had a few days to think about other possible explanations. And it's occurred to me that it's just possible that she has a failure of the oil cooler. And what we're looking at here is the left side of the Ford 7.8 turbo diesel engine block and I think we can see some of the bosses to which the oil filtration assembly and the oil cooler mount to. Well last night I had the displeasure of a thoroughly disgusting and filthy job to remove the oil filtration assembly and the oil cooler. This is the oil filtration assembly. Uh, the two oil filters mount vertically here and there and the oil cooler which is this device attaches to the engine block via the oil filtration assembly. They share the same bolt holes here. Uh, this of course turns over, it goes on that way so that the mounting surfaces mate to one another. Oh, it's heavy. If I turn it back. Turn it back over, you can see the disgusting milky oil leaking out. This should be clean oil, or, or at least blackened, sooty, uh, diesel stained oil. So, uh, in theory, it would be possible to leave the oil filtration assembly in place uh, on the engine block and only remove the oil cooler but in practice I could not remove the oil cooler without dropping the oil filtration assembly I had no room to remove the oil cooler either forward or backward it had to come straight down past the frame rail and in order to do that I had to remove the oil filtration assembly so I'm not making a claim it's only my hope at this stage that my problem is the oil cooler because that is the cheapest fix. I think we can see the oil cooler through the ports, a honeycomb-like structure, just like a radiator and if there is a failure internally then that would allow the oil and the coolant to mix the coolant of course travels in and out of these large ports and it provides us with the unfortunate opportunity for coolant and oil to mix if there is an internal breakdown, uh, something which couldn't happen on an air style oil cooler which would be mounted up near the radiator at the front of the truck. Um, the reason that Ford has this style of oil cooler is that it provides the advantage insofar as when the engine is cold, the coolant warms faster than the oil and the warming coolant allows the oil to warm up. And then once the engine is fully warmed up 
and the oil is hotter than the coolant, then the coolant uh, provides the opportunity for the oil to cool so its, its function uh, reverses. Well, I've made a list here of my four possibilities for the cause of the problem. Number one, the oil cooler, that's my hope. Number two, head gasket, as I stated in the previous video. Number three, a cracked head, I hope not. And number four, and I really hope not, a cracked block. So this is the best case scenario through to the worst case scenario. Again, I'm not making a claim that my problem is the oil cooler, but I have to start somewhere. So my plan is to take the oil cooler here uh, into a radiator repair shop uh, in the city of Fort Wayne, Indiana, and have it pressure tested. And uh, it's my hope that the unit will fail the pressure test, uh, thus clearing the way for us to replace this with a rebuilt unit. I imagine I'll get the same case back but different internals and I won't have to worry about the cylinder head if that's the case. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next time.